for the plane. The plane comes out from the sky to pick up the people. That story is an illustration of what Christmas is all about. Our Christmas celebration celebrates the fact that we don't have to climb up to the sky to get to God. God has come down to earth to us. And that is something that is unique about Christianity. Most religions of the world, everyone I can think of, is about manipulating God, performing some kind of sacrifice or magic ritual. That ritual will, will make God do what we want or at least put him on our side. But we hear this morning about something else. We have a God who so loved us that on his own volition, his own choice, he came down to us. He emptied himself and came down to us. Christmas celebrates the fact that you can put God at a point in time personally entered the world. Now, the, the necessity for this is obvious. Suppose for a moment that you wanted to communicate to the hands at your feet. Maybe you wanted to tell them to leave your house, for example. How would you go about communicating with the hands? Would you read really notes for them? Would you shout really loudly? Would you use email about sign language? Of course, you couldn't communicate with them because the gap between their level of being and yours is too great. There is simply no way to communicate with them. The only way to really reach them, frankly, would be somehow to become an ant yourself. Now, you have to love the ant a huge amount to do that, to make a sacrifice like that. Especially if you knew in advance that the ant would reject you and kill you horribly. Only love can explain a big sacrifice like that. So 2,000 years ago, like a great star, Jesus came down from heaven and lit up the darkness of the world. We had the first reading from Isaiah, which opens with those famous words, the people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. They lived in a land of shadows, but now the light is shining on them. Other gospels speak of Jesus as the real light that comes and shines on us all. It adds, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. Before Jesus came into the world, people struggled to find a reason for their suffering, for their slow death, for their living at all. After Jesus entered our world, we suddenly saw that there was a reason for our lives. That's been my experience, too. I see my life as a movement, starting out with total selfishness and moving slowly to something better. Jesus is that something better. Living for him works. Living for myself never works. I try it. I try it as hard as anyone ever tried it. To live for myself, to be here to be married, and tomorrow we die. I, I've tried that. It simply didn't work. I tried it enough to know. Maybe you've experienced the same thing, or you wouldn't be here this morning. I love the passage in the fourth Eucharistic prayer that says, and that we might live no longer for ourselves. Came. Thank God he came so that we wouldn't have to live for ourselves and to live for him. And what Jesus was in his time, we must be for the people of our time a light in the darkness and a ray of hope in the midst of despair. You know, Christmas is all about giving. From the very first Christmas, when the Magi brought the gift, the gold of the Christmas.